good afternoon okay we are in another we are the nursery we are trying to do the mixture of the soil there is some soils which we had uh, piled for some time and we have this manure these are pit moss in the form of pit moss so we are trying to mix in order to attain the homogeneous part so we are going to interact with the agronomist mr jeremiah to tell us more about uh, why is he doing this mixture. Yes, Mr. Jeremiah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Ibrahim. Yes, sir. Thank you for visiting us. That's so great. So, what we are doing here ideally is that uh, we are creating a perfect coating mixture yes. for our seed. Yes. So, as you can see here, we have what we call pit moss. Yes. The one which we are standing right here. Yes. And then on the other end, we have the top soil. The other one is the top soil. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to have a ratio. Yes. Of uh, one pit moss. Yes. Versus two top soil. Top soil. And okay. And then the two will be mixed, as you can see by the machine. Yes. And then we shall allow time yes. for it to generate a homogeneous mixture. Yes. Which will be very perfect for our seed Uh huh. So the reason why we choose pit moss. Yes. One, pit moss is rich in organic matter. Rich in organic matter. Yes. Yes. Number two, yes. the same organic matter will be able to provide nutrients mm -hmm. which can sustain a young seedling. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the reason why we choose pit moss is the perforation. Perforation. We want a mixture mm -hmm. which can allow proper aeration yes. when the potting mixture is inside the cavera or the potting. Of the, yeah. That one will allow roots to have breathe mm -hmm. to take in air and also to move air from the bottom. That's so good. Number three, mm -hmm. this pit moss you can see is a dark in color. Mm -hmm. We want to modify mm -hmm. the temperature of the bottom mixture. Yes. So that we can avoid root problems mm -hmm. for the acid. Yes. So once we have done the mixture, yeah. we allow time for it to 